start to balance both both my passion my passion and uh, being able to be a leader for my community it's really it's really tough at times I spend my energy all around and it's it's really tough but you know I wouldn't have it any other way Jules Beardy isn't even 30 years old and as of last July he sits on Lake St. Martin First Nations Council I'm the youngest one on the the rookie has to say. Beardy says being able to represent the youth's voice on council helps others to look towards their own future. He hopes more will run for leadership positions both within their own nations and even at provincial and federal levels. The youth are starting to take over. Good supports if you have a good, you have a good name and a good um, good intentions, you know, why not? Even sitting on council, Berti is still pursuing his lifelong dreams of fighting in the Muay Thai rings, just like this one, only in Thailand. In fact, for the last three months, he's been pouring his heart and soul into training. I stayed with it because I was passionate about it and I actually loved it, you know, and for me to actually pursue something I really, really love, it's like a dream come true for me and it's something I'll never give up on. He says even though he'll be gone for an entire month to fight in Thailand, he knows everything will run smoothly during his absence. There is seven elected leaders that sit on the sit at the table and, you know, when now I exclude myself for four weeks, they support me and they that were happy for me and you know like the show goes on. Beardy says what he learns from his training as a Mai Tai fighter helps him stay focused in all aspects of his life. Overall it really kept me grounded and balanced. You know, I didn't forget who I was, I didn't forget where I came from but fighting really put the, took the edge off, edge off everything and it really Give me a sense of belonging. There were times where I wasn't doing fine outside of my uh, gym life. When I came to the gym, everybody were like a family here. And they really took care of me. They brought me in, and they really made sure I was fine and well taken care of. And you know, it's another life skill for me. Adding, if you're feeling lost in life, there are supports out there to help you find your way so you can follow your dreams because you're worth it. I think it's very important for our young Aboriginals to find something they love, something they really cherish, something where someone or something where they find a sense of belonging, where they can uh, embark on a new adventure, a new path, a positive one, instead of being involved in gangs or drugs or any kind of criminal activities. I think they should find their calling. He leaves for Thailand May 16th and returns June 13th. In Winnipeg, Rachel Crow Spreading Wings, City News.